Hello and welcome to Fun Fact Friday. I am so glad you're all here because I have a public service announcement to give out before I start my video. And it's that if there are any of you watching who know someone or is someone who is redheaded, you must, for the goodness of mankind, mate with another red-haired person. Why? Because red-haired people are dying out. And only 1% of 7 billion people have red hair. And this is unfortunate. My brother has red hair, so this hits close to home. It is a pretty color to have on your head. And it comes in beautiful shades and it's just really nice. And to think that it would be going extinct is just sad. So, why, you're probably thinking, is it true that we have such a small amount of redheads in the population? And if there's just such a small amount, where did it come from? Well, apparently, all Neanderthals were redheaded. Now, some people say Neanderthal, some people say Neanderthal. I think the correct way to say it is Neanderthal. So if you hear me going back and forth, that's why. Anyway, they were red-haired. And it's interesting that we find that out. This is a, a somewhat recent development. Uh, before, you know, most people think of Neanderthals as these brutish, big, you know, or short, squatty sort of dark... Uh, complected, dark-haired uh, individuals that would were just so far different and uh, not on the same intellectual scale as humans are. But they weren't that different, not as different as we make them sound, you know. Uh, that was more of a, a PR stunt when they were, you know, learning about them, you know, more, 100 years or so ago. The truth is they, they were sophisticated um, as you could be at the time. They were shorter because of where they lived. Uh, the humans evolved from, you know, Africa. We came around and all the way up into Europe and so on and so forth. But uh, they were shorter because it was colder. And the shorter you are, the, the warmer you get to stay when your body is closer together. And so they just ended up not being able to compare with humans once humans got up there to where they were and died out. But there is seeming to be a link in some research recently that was shows that it's possible that the two interbreeded, hence creating the red hair effect that was not native to us and perpetuating it until now. But uh, it's important to remember that we're not 100%, but I think there's always room to be optimistic and think that that's possible. A lot of people think that it's not possible because of DNA testing that we've already done on our own genes that show no link between our branch and their branch of the human tree. But I still think that you, it's possible, especially with the research that I have read recently uh, in the past couple of years that points to the possibility of it being something to look, you know, further into, uh, especially since that red hair connection, it's super important to this because it's just not native to us. So it's very interesting when we think about hair color and what it can really mean in the long run. So I want to know what you think. Have you heard about these uh, studies? Have you read into them? Do you have an opinion? Are you redheaded yourself? and don't want to compare yourself to a Neanderthal. But the truth is, it's not a bad thing. They're not, they weren't these dumb, you know, creatures that people make them out to be. There's even evidence that they had an oral language, whereas before people thought that they just walked around and grunted towards each other, which, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to have a culture or civilization in that. There's also evidence that they buried their dead, which shows that they had intelligence. They weren't just big brutes. They had 
uh, traditions and culture and society of their own. Uh, you know, maybe not as established as, you know, the humans would eventually be, but they did have an established set of a way of life. So, I look forward to hearing from everybody's comments and um, see what you have to say about the issue. It's something that people debate, but a lot of people who don't know much debate against them. Why would, what's the point in being against them like they're this terrible thing? They were just, you know, kind of like people. They were a kind of people, just not us kind of people. Anyway, so let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will respond.